What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today oh shit. What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I want to bring you a brand new video talking about Pokemon Go, the new app that everybody is talking about. Uh, pretty much everybody that, know, that I know on Facebook and Twitter is just spamming uh, different pictures of Pokemon, Pokemon Go related, uh, you know, comments or memes or complaints about it being down every 30 f***ing minutes. As a side note though, I got new glasses and I think they look pretty good on me. They're supposed to have like an anti-reflective like thing on the front, so maybe there's not as big of a reflection on, on these as there usually is on my old ones, but whatever. Let's get back to the topic. So yeah, if you guys don't know, Pokemon released a game called Pokemon Go. Uh, if you've been hiding under a rock, maybe you haven't uh, downloaded it yet or heard of it, but uh, it's a free game that you can get on, on on Android and iOS in almost all countries, I think, at this point. I'm pretty sure um, it's developed by Niantic, uh, which is a company that also developed a, a previous game um, with the same concept. Uh, so basically what you do is you can you download the app, it's free, and it tracks your GPS location, and you can go around to different places in the world and catch... Uh, uh, you know pokemon in like in irl and and you can see um it, it accesses the front face and camera on your phone or the back face and camera on your phone uh so you can actually see the pokemon in real life which is really really sick if the feature would work yeah me and a few other people actually a ton of freaking people on the internet are having a lot of trouble getting that act that feature to work the alternate reality feature or whatever um it worked for me like once and then after that it just hasn't been working so basically uh this app the concept is amazing and the and the, the app is like it's got some work to do but it's it's a great concept and um you know, I'm sure they're going to iron out all the bugs soon but at, in terms of launch uh, this launch was garbage I mean it's just it's been sh complete shit uh, the game has had a ton of different bugs you know um, not really tracking your location very accurately um, there's been issues with it freezing and crashing uh, the biggest issue that people are complaining about is that uh, the servers are constantly going down obviously you know something like this there's going to be a huge rush of players with a you know a huge player base right off uh, right out of the gate you know when this game was announced back in September uh, people were super super excited uh, and you know ever since then the hype has been super real uh, and here we are the game has launched and it keeps crashing the servers keep crashing and I can't help but feel like you know obviously there's going to be server issues with a game of this scale launching globally pretty much at, at the same time uh, but they really should have known i mean you know pokemon is one of the largest franchises and best-selling franchises in uh like the world pretty much uh in terms of video games that is and you know if you're going to release a an official pokemon game on such an available platform i mean so many people in developed countries have you know smartphones in in like Japan and, and America and Australia and Europe and everything, you know, uh, the, everyone has like a smartphone at this point. It seems like, you know, there's obviously some people uh, who don't have smartphones, but for the most part, you know, you smartphones uh, are pretty, pretty common these days, especially among the age group of the fans that would be of Pokemon. So if you're going to release an official Pokemon game to the world, for no cost to download, you really have to assume that everybody who likes Pokemon is pretty much gonna get it because the odds are that they have a smartphone. I mean, it, I can't really, it's like, unless they're like four years old or something, uh, I think if they have a DS or a 3DS or something like that, uh, they probably have enough money to have a smartphone and if they used to play Pokemon on the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy Advance, they're probably old enough to have their own job uh, to which they might be able to afford smartphone so you, you kind of have to go into it assuming that every person who actually really has uh, enjoyed Pokemon now or in the past is going to download it as soon as it comes out because it's free uh, so you know the server issues they probably saw it coming and were like Fuck, there's no way we can fix this problem we're just gonna have to tackle it head-on uh, and I feel kind of bad because now everybody's pissed off um, you know but obviously they're not gonna throw thousands and thousands and thousands uh, if if not millions of dollars into you know massive servers to operate this global uh, system and this massive online game that has just launched uh, they obviously you know want to invest in it after they've discovered that the game is actually going to be profitable and worth it but again you kind of have to assume that you're going to have this massive influx of people uh, and you really you know it seems like they they probably should have been better prepared for this uh, because you know literally every like hour the, the game is crashing and it's getting really really annoying 
I mean, just upon launch of this game, Nintendo shares went up like 10% or something like that, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, you know, people and investors in Japan saw that this game hit number one on the app stores for the free apps like immediately, uh, and it's been staying there, and the game has just caused massive hype on social media and everywhere and everyone's talking about it and you know the fact that you know it's pretty much everybody in the world seems to be talking about Pokemon Go right now uh, the shares of Nintendo you know the company that owns uh, Pokemon went up like 10% which was like holy shit dude like Nintendo is a massive company so for that kind of like influx of like volume and you know share price to just shoot up like that for such a, a, a well-established and old company uh, is crazy because you know like super good selling games uh, and profitable things uh, are not uncommon for Nintendo uh, Nintendo is a super big company they've been producing games and electronics for years and years and years uh, and they often have profitable uh, you know things come out people they have a huge fan base so for them to release something so epically massive that it takes Nintendo shares up 10%, that is insane so you know i really feel like they should have kind of seen this coming uh, with the whole server thing but whatever hopefully within the next day or two they can really iron this out obviously the game is massively profitable it's going to be hugely profitable uh for niantic and for nintendo so they obviously will have no problem investing more money into more stable uh and abundant servers one thing that I did want to talk about though, which was absolutely crazy, and I'm not entirely sure if this is true, but Gizmodo actually posted an article today, it's the 8th, uh, of it. they basically said here that a girl in Wyoming, a 19 year old girl in Wyoming, uh, actually found a dead body while playing Pokemon Go. Apparently the girl's name is Shayla, and she was trying to find a water type Pokemon near her house in Wyoming or something like that, somewhere in Wyoming where she lives, uh, and she went to, she climbed a fence to go over to to a I guess like a little river or something and found a dead body like on the side of the river or whatever and that just blows my mind like this game is going to bring people to places that they never would have even thought to go and, and that's like so awesome low-key though like if I found a dead body playing Pokemon Go that'd be the coolest shit ever I would be so hyped up like that's a real adventure dude you went outside your house you went exploring and you found a dead body like holy shit that's wild like that's real life adventure right there thanks to pokemon go and it's only been out for a few days honestly one big fear that i have with pokemon go is that someone's going to go somewhere to find a specific pokemon or something like that uh and they're going to end up getting hurt or something uh and they're gonna try to sue nintendo or niantic or whoever made the game uh, saying, you know, oh, you know, my child was playing your game and they ended up falling off a cliff or some shit like that. I, I can already see something like that happening. I, I just, I feel it. It's going to happen. You know, if this girl found a dead body like two days after the game came out, I can't imagine the crazy shit that it's going to cause uh, with people just wandering around and going different places and exploring uh, and, you know, looking at their phone and then tripping and falling into the Grand Canyon or some shit like that. You know it's going to happen. People are not very smart. <laughs> Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Pokemon has been one of my favorite franchises, if not my favorite franchise, in all of video game history. I've been playing it since I was like four years old. Uh, such an amazing franchise, and I'm so excited to play Pokemon Go, and I'm really happy that it seems to be like super mainstream right now. It seems like everybody's playing it, so it's not going to be just a handful of nerds who like it, you know, like myself, but it does seem like a ton of people of different walks of life are going to be trying it, giving it a go, and seeing, pun intended, and giving it a go ha, get it um, and seeing if they like it so I'm really glad to see that this game is you know has the hype behind it even though the launch was complete garbage um, and like I said hopefully in the next few days they will figure that out and iron it out and make it more stable so that way I can actually level up my Charmander and yeah so that's all I wanted to talk about you to, uh, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today the girl finding the dead body was absolutely insane and I would love it if you guys would comment down below telling me if you're playing Pokemon go let me know in the comment section and tell me which starter Pokemon you picked uh, I feel like a majority of people picked Charmander or Squirtle with only a handful of Bulbasaur but that's just my speculation uh, it seems to be that those are the two fan favorites um, also let me know um, you know if you're having as many server issues as I've been having it's 
been like such a hard time uh, trying to do anything in the game so let me know in the comment section below your starter and your experience with pokemon go if you're playing it also make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoy this and if you want to see more stuff by me you can uh, subscribe to my channel uh, i would really really appreciate it if i you know got, got a subscription from you and saw you around here more often i love new faces in the comment section below uh and i like when people uh you know enjoy what i do here because that's that's what i like to do i like to entertain you guys with videos like this so anyway that's enough rambling today I have to go see if the servers are online, but chances are slim, uh, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I gotta go catch them all. Peace.